So let's talk about this new Trigun that's coming out. Trigun Stampede. It's set to come out in a couple of months and I am not looking forward to it and I, it pains me to say that. The original Trigun anime is one of my favorite animes of all time. It might even be my favorite. I watched it growing up and I just loved everything about it. I loved the characters, the designs, the story, the action, the humor, the sci-fi western setting, the overall lighthearted vibe that wasn't afraid to get too serious sometimes. I just love it. It's a classic, highly beloved anime from the 90s. So imagine my surprise and my delight when my buddy told me that they were making a new Trigun anime. And I thought this was a great idea, you know, the original anime notoriously strayed from the manga to the point where it killed off one of the major characters that didn't die in the manga. Yeah, we could see a new series with more modern animation, something that followed the manga more closely. Great idea, right? Well. My excitement quickly faded with the next words that came out of my friend's mouth. And he said, I, I don't like the look of it. O okay, interesting. Why? So he, he pulled up the trailer for me. And uh, yeah, I, I share his feelings on this one for sure. A few months back, Crunchyroll dropped this teaser trailer for the series. And we see a few things that really didn't sit well with me. First of all, the animation style. It's all 3D CGI, which I just don't like in anime, you know, and I don't know a lot of people who do, to be honest. I know we're seeing it more and more, and the new Dragon Ball movie did really, really well, both at the box office and with fans alike. But, uh, you know, even people before they saw the movie, they were skeptical. They were, like, hating on it really badly. So who knows, maybe I'll watch it and it'll grow on me, maybe it'll be okay. But it's not just that. I mean, they really... They changed all the character designs too much. I mean, Vash the Stampede, his character design, his clothing, his haircut, everything is so iconic. They changed all of that. He looks like Justin Bieber or something, come on. The haircut, he looks all wimpy and small now too. He used to be at least this tall, like, towering dude. And sure, his demeanor, his attitude was very kind of innocent and playful and goofy, but you could tell he was a force to be messed with. You know, a force not to be messed with, rather. Um, that's why people were so afraid of him and because of his reputation of leveling whole towns and cities. And even his coat doesn't look right. I mean, they gave him a new modern coat, but his, his old stuff just looked so much cooler. They really changed everything about his design. And I'm not digging it. A lot of people are complaining too about the trailer. They gave away some really... At least they gave glimpses to some stuff that you weren't supposed to know until the end of the series. There was a big reveal at the end of the series that they just straight up put in the trailer now. And it's like... <sighs> having to do with Vash's childhood, his backstory. We get glimpses of that now in this trailer and it's like, come on now. We weren't supposed to know that until 20 episodes in. Come on. Okay, but there's more, there's more. So a few weeks ago now, the, the animation company came out with a new trailer that showed off a lot more aspects of the show. Oh, man. It doesn't get any better. It, it just doesn't get any better. So we see Wolfwood. He looks a bit different. Again, he just doesn't look as rugged as the old Wolfwood, you know? He looks kind of cleaned up and just... No, man. He He's supposed to have a cigarette in his mouth, but he has a lollipop in his mouth now. Like... Seriously, I know smoking's bad, okay, don't encourage kids to smoke, but man, that was just his character. That's the type of guy he is. He's this very, like, hypocritical, I, I guess not really a priest, but you think he's a priest? <sighs> I don't know, man. Okay, moving on. Uh, it doesn't end there either. It gets worse and worse, I'm telling you. Millie and Merrill, the two insurance ladies from the old series, they would follow Vash around. They were kind of like comic relief in a way. You had Derringer Merrill. She's this little tiny petite girl, but she's got some skills. She's called Derringer Merrill because she carries these little tiny uh, Derringers, but she can do some damage with them. And then her, you know, colleague Millie is this tall, like hovering woman. And she's kind of like a lovable idiot, you could say, really a uh, source of comic relief. But she's like super strong and like, she has this very innocent demeanor about her as well, but she carries big guns and can just blast everybody. But yeah, she's nowhere to be seen in this. It looks like they've replaced her character altogether 
with a new character named Robert De Niro. I wish I was joking. Robert De Niro. And they're not even insurance salespeople anymore. They're reporters now, which I guess makes sense, but you're just messing with the whole characters. You're messing with the whole story at this point. Why? I don't mind Meryl's design so much. I think she looks pretty good. But, uh, like, how are you going to do Millie like that? How are you going to do the fans like that? And how are you going to just change Meryl's character? How are you going to replace Millie? Come on. Ah, oh, man, I hate to say it. I, I feel like they're just butchering all of these characters we've seen so far. I could get behind this if I knew that these were Yasuhiro Naito's ideas. Yasuhiro Naito being the creator of Trigun. You know, if he were behind this, if these were his ideas, if he was given the okay, then maybe I could roll with it. But even though Crunchyroll plasters his name all over that teaser trailer from Yasuhiro Naito, I don't think he's actually involved in this project at all. He's in the credits as, you know, based on the manga from Yasuhiro Naito, but he doesn't seem to have any, you know, he's not the producer, he's not the director, that doesn't seem to be anything. I was looking on Wikipedia and trying to see online if he's involved with this at all, I don't believe so. So to me it feels like this animation studio is just taking his works, taking this beloved IP and just doing something totally different with it. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like the look of it. I don't like how they're handling the story. I don't like how they're changing the characters completely. I don't like how they're spoiling it. <laughs> I don't I don't like anything about this and that pains me. I was really, really excited when I heard there was going to be a new Trigun, but uh, this is not doing it for me. I am not feeling this at all. I hope I'm wrong. I hope they prove me wrong. We'll see in a couple months, I guess, although I kind of don't even want to watch it, to be honest. But yeah, maybe I'll just be blown away. Maybe I'll be like those haters hating on that Dragon Ball movie until they watched it and then they said it was just oh, amazing. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about this. I'll be really curious to know. Especially if you watched the old one, if you read the old manga. Let me know your thoughts on these changes and what's going on. And if I'm wrong about Yasuhiro Naito's involvement or lack of involvement in this one, let me know that as well because I, I just can't find anything about it. The one good thing that's come out of this is as I was researching Yasuhiro Naito, I didn't know that he uh, has a newer series out. It's called Blood... what is it? Blood Brigade... Blood Battle... Battle Blood Brigade? What is it? Blood Blockade Battlefront. I'm sorry, I couldn't remember the title, but I'm excited to check that out. It's on Crunchyroll. So I think I'm going to have to give that a watch soon, and maybe I'll do a video on that too and talk about it. Yeah, just super disappointing. I, I read the Trigun manga, I watched it to death as a kid, and this just pains me. Just the lack of respect for the original IP. Anyways, that's my rant for the day. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Take care.